What's going on? The actors are at it again. What did they do this time? Oh, they said the anthrax. Oh. oh my god. Isn't that like a terrorist attack? Well, we can't really die. So what would normally constitute as a terrorist attack is just a friendly prank. Did Percy open the package? No, I did. But I knew it was anthrax, so I didn't get close to it. Then, what happened to Percy? He ate it. You ate anthrax? I thought it was powdered sugar. I thought it was powdered sugar! Powdered sugar that I thrown in the trash can. I needed something to garnish my bed. You should try one of his beignets. Except not from this batch, because I'm afraid it might have anthrax in it. I feel like I'm going to die. Yeah, and you deserve to, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Mary. My son and stars. Mary. My one and only. Shut up. Mary. My true love. I am not, nor have ever been, your love. Mary. 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 What? Please. Care for me. Nurture me. Let me suckle at your teat. Metaphorically speaking, of course. You will do no suckling, figuratively or literally. But Mary... What? You're the only person who cares for me anymore. You're making a big assumption there, buddy. Why must you spurn me so, my love? You know I don't have friends, Percy? Because they all died and I was granted immortality? Because you're arrogant and stupid. And you do shit like riding your boat into a store or eating anthrax. You know, you could be friends with people if you tried. You could be friends with James Baldwin or Emily Dickinson or maybe even Larry Spinarf. Yes, but who would want to be friends with Larry Spinarf? But you're not friends with them. And you won't be. Because it's all about you all the time. Whether it's because you ate a deadly poison, or because you're missing Lord Byron's dick, hey. or because no one can remember the name of your stupid osmosis poem. Ozymandias. No one gives a shit! Least of all me! Mary, Mary, come back! Mary! Memories are like candles, butterflies, fingers, no, turn away, never again. Stop it, stop it now. Oh God, I knew devising work would have been a bad idea. I thought it was really powerful. Do you have any idea what the piece was about? No, but it still really resonated with me. But isn't the collaboration between director and actor what makes genuine art? That's assuming that the actors aren't idiots. Are we idiots? Yes. It's par for the course for when you become an actor. We have never been able to make anything of value without a writer. Oh. Oh. I wouldn't know. As an actor, I've tried to rid myself of my taste, so I feel no embarrassment or shame. Richard, we don't need a writer. We've never needed a writer. We just need our creative spirit. 
Of course we need a writer! I spent my formative years working with one of the best writers we ever- We know! We know. I used to be Richard Burbage, one of the most renowned theatre actors in all of England. I me a for William Shakespeare himself! But now, oh God, now, I do devise theatre. I perform in a black box. We specialize in viewpoint exercises. What the hell even are those? God. How could I have sunk so low? Wasn't William Shakespeare like 99% dick jokes? Yeah, I feel like you started out pretty low. Well, that's rich coming from someone who premiered in Cats. <sighs> to be fair, everyone that was invited to the retreat refused and all that we're left with are shitty community theater actors. <sighs> and myself. We only have one golden angel among us. That's Marilyn Monroe. Oh, look at the talent. Look, maybe we should just go play a game of Zip Zap Zap. Oh, Get a, the creative juices flowing. That's a game for children. But isn't it the job of the actor to Access the inner child. Hello, Mary. Ah! I suppose you're wondering why I called you here this evening. This is my room! What is this? Before you are two almost identical white powders. One pile is a deadly poison, the other pile a delicious confection. Which is which, you ask? That's for you to find out. I'm guessing the sugar is the one you just licked off your finger. I wouldn't be so sure. What if we make a play that's like about a family? Oh, bollocks! This semi supine cuddle puddle is getting us nowhere. Who on earth could that be? Hi, it's Rhonda. Oh, it's no one famous, don't get it. Uh, I'm a writer. <gasps> One of the writers? Um, yes? Well, come in! Oh, bloody hell, move! Move! Do come in! Hi, um, you might remember me from earlier Absolutely. when you dropped a bucket of water on me. Correct. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Good one! Uh, I'm new to the retreat, I know, but I think this whole feud between us is ridiculous. I've come to make peace. Oh, we'd be more than willing to make peace. Really? If. If. You agree to write a play for us. Oh, um, I've never written a play before. Oh. Believe me, little fox, it will be easy. I'll go get a quill. Oh, right. um, I don't really need one. It's just a gesture. I, I'll just uh, use my laptop. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, those. Those exist nowadays. It's and, uh, yeah. It's fine by me. Yeah, I don't, no one uses quills. They do in Harry Potter. What do you want? An apology? Maybe. For what? For not wanting to coddle you? Newsflash, dumbass! I spent my entire life trying to support and care for you. And what did I get? Three dead babies! Two miscarriages! A sister with an opium addiction! A fucking brain tumor! Yes, but none of that was my fault. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. So are you saying I should apologize to you? Yes! Obviously! I've been trying to get you to apologize for hundreds of years! Oh. You can't fucking do it, can you? You can't even apologize for all of the shit you put me through. 
Go on. Eating your anthrax. I don't care. Well, the joke's on you, because both powders are cocaine! <laughs> Good thing cocaine can't make me dreadfully ill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's delicious. <laughs> Will you write me a character that's like a lovable asshole? Sure. I'd like to play an asshole on stage, because I'm actually so nice in real life. Oh, um, I'd like to play a- Shut up! I was still talking! I just want to have a mental breakdown on stage. No, okay. I should have a mental breakdown on stage. I'm a really good screamer. I'm a better screamer. Can there be a musical number? Um, maybe. You know, I can tap dance. Did you know that? <laughs> uh, maybe no. you can add a line about how my character is insecure about his masculinity. It'd, it'd be funny because I'm so secure about my masculinity. Mm. Look, I didn't want to have to say this, but when you act, I can feel you acting. You take that back! That was just honest criticism! If you'd read Stella Adler! I read Stella Adler, you pig-faced bitch! You know, I'm learning how to salsa too, so if we could throw in a little Latin number, I'd love that. Does this feel like acting? to you <laughs> See I told you I was a good screamer <laughs>